Stories grab us. They let us live in another's experience and really bond people together. Learning how to tell stories that capture people's attention is a great leadership skill and a really great way to boost charisma. So, how do you do it? Sit back, relax, and enjoy, because today, the Cool Story Bro is telling you how to tell a good story. Like I'm fine. I got my rims and my drop top spinning. Cool story, bro. House worth more than a million. Cool story, bro. Girl hotter than Jessica Simpson. Cool story, bro. All right, the very first thing you need for a story is a hook. Draw your listeners in with a message or start with a fun detail. Give them an ending or question, something to answer. Hook them in and they'll love the story. All right, here's an example. Let's say I want to tell a story about a cup of coffee. I'd start with something like this. Sometimes something annoying can really help you when you least expect it. That hook lets the person know what's going to happen and gives them a message to look out for. It hooks them in. It tells listeners what I'm going to say. And that's really all a hook is. You tell your listeners what you're going to tell them. All right, number two. The next thing you need to do is set the scene. Introduce the idea, the settings, the characters. Don't spend too much time on exposition, but give something for the listeners to picture in their heads. You don't want to do this. This happened three years ago. Instead, give them some sensory details, like this. This all happened three years ago on a cold, rainy day. It was so cold, my fingers were gonna fall off. I was early for a job interview with a nice white shirt on, so I decided to grab some coffee. That setting gives the listeners something to look out for and a basic idea in their head of what's going on in the story. It's a little bit longer, but it's not too long, so the listener doesn't lose interest. Okay, number three is to keep it simple. Know which details to leave out and which ones to keep. Don't include inane, tiny little parts of the story that no one needs. Keep the flow at all costs. This is what you don't want to do. I was so cold, so I went to get a coffee. I went inside the cafe. Then I waited in line. Then I ordered a cup of coffee. Then I went to my seat. Don't do that. Keep the flow. Don't give inane little details. Instead, do something like this. It was cold, so I grabbed a cup of coffee at this cute little cafe in the corner. I didn't think about my white shirt at the time. Okay, in that example, I'm keeping the flow and only including relevant details. Cut out anything that's not necessary and build the scene. Keep it simple. All right, number four is to build tension. Keep listeners interested by building up to a head. Keep adding details and speeding up the pace. This is what you want to do. Example, as I took the coffee back outside, I felt something shaking. The lid wasn't sealed properly and it just kept shaking and shaking, but my fingers were too cold to push it back on. What was going to happen to my white shirt? So in that example, I kept building up and building up, including more and more relevant details and speeding up the pace. So always keep building tension, remember that. All right, the next one is to deliver a satisfying conclusion and use pauses. Give the listener a nice ending that wraps up everything you said before. Tie the details back together in the end. Remember in the introduction, you told the listeners what you were gonna tell them. In the conclusion, you tell them again what you told them. All right, here's an example of an ending to that story we talked about before. With the next step I took, the lid flew off and the coffee went into the air, except on its way down, the coffee evaporated into steam and little tiny chunks of ice. A white cloud fell down around me and as I looked around, I saw that the coffee had frozen midair. It was so cold that the coffee instantly froze the moment it left the cup. My shirt was fine. And I owe it all to that miserably cold weather. Sometimes something really annoying can do you a big favor. So in that example, I gave a conclusion that summed up what I said before and I tied it back to the introduction. So connect your hooks and your conclusions. Okay, the very last tip is practice. Practice the story over and over again. Keep telling the story to everyone you meet and perfect it. A story rarely sounds good the very first time you tell it. Keep practicing and not only will your story get good, but you'll be a better storyteller. Okay, so that's how you tell a story. Any special methods you like to use? Put your methods in the comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. He's back on fire. I got my rims and my drop top spinning. Cool story, bro. House worth more than a million. Cool story, bro. Girl hotter than Jessica Jess Simpson. Cool story, bro. This the hardest thing you heard in a minute. Cool story, bro. Yeah, I'm working out too. I said I train insane, like Goku, homie. I said I'm training insane, no.